Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of the Ottoman Empire Europa Universalis 4 playthrough. So in the last episode, I don't know if you remember, we took Constantinople and Athens, we've also taken Albania previously. So we're looking to fabricate a claim in Achaia here, which is hopefully going to allow us to take over this entire region and we'll just um, do a full annexation of that and take that completely. While that's going on, we're waiting for these guys to get out of their war so that we can um, offer them vassalization. And once we've had that for, I think it's, is it 10 years? You've got to be a vassal of someone for 10 years? Then I will be able to, or is it 50 years? It's got to be only 10, isn't it, I think? Uh, well, anyway, whatever it is, then I'll, I'll annex them, but I'll do the same with these guys here as well. And we will try our best. I want another diplomat, actually. Right, so we've fabricated a claim over here. They're still at war. I think they're going to probably be at war for a long time. Can I stop them from being at war? No, I can't do anything. But, just because I can't do anything with them doesn't mean I can't do anything with these guys. I could just send them a gift. Right, that'll just do 25 though, won't it? Yeah, 25. So that won't be enough, so I have to improve relations with them for a while, which I am actually. 50 more, so that'll take me to 169. So that'll be enough. If I finish that off, that will then be plenty enough for when we um, come to offer them vassalization. Are they going to give me a lights offer? Yes. Well done, guys. Well done. I don't know, I'm sure I was at allies with them previously anyway. I think they must have just got upset when I attacked someone or maybe they didn't come in part of the war and therefore they... Everyone left and got a bit upset or something. Greek patriots have risen up in Athens. Fantastic. Let's go kill ourselves some Greeks. How is this doing anyway. We're not doing too bad on the actual revolt. I mean, revolt risk is not really too bad compared to what I've had before. Right, what's this? Call for peace. The war is won and your people tire of the continued occupations. They cry out for peace. I can't... Oh, I am the leader of the war. That's what's going on. Okay. I do apologise, people. I would have... Um... Right, so they cede both of them to Crimea. And the war's done. Can't believe, I didn't realise that I was the actual leader of that war. I mean, I didn't start it, but obviously because I had a higher war score, they... Um... Ah, war exhaustion. Where is that? I mean, that's not too bad. It's going down a month anyway. These guys don't know what war exhaustion is, I tell you, they've got no idea of what it's about. I mean, the Mamluks are ripping everyone down this region a new one, aren't they? Right, that's occupied by Bosnia, so Serbia must be in a war with them. There's quite a sort of a lot of wars going on around this region, I'll tell you that much. I think that we should... Where's How's that core coming along? Oh, so Athens is now established as a core of ours. Okay, well that's great. So what we'll do now is, let's just check how many allies do they have. Serbia still, just Serbia. Who is at war with Bosnia? So we'll actually go to war with these again to take that. Oh, no, 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 we're in a truce. We're going to get a minus five stability, which is terrible. How long does this truce last? 1453. Oh, I've got to wait another two years for that to end. Okay, what else is there around here? See, these guys, we could fabricate a claim here. I'll fabricate a claim on Kara, Karaman, or whatever it's called. And we'll try and take that. I think it's kind of... This is going to be a bit of a... Um, 
a war between the Mamluks and the Ottomans, really, isn't it? We're, we're both trying to fight over the same sort of space to try and take control of as much of it as possible. These guys are getting pretty powerful as well, actually, and they don't like me either, which is not a problem. If they take all of this, then... They're really starting to gain some serious ground. These ones don't like me either. What's going on here? Why do these people not like me? I suppose, are we of completely different religions? We are a little bit, aren't we? So someone's trying to fabricate a claim on us. But I'm not too, too bothered about that. The King of Burgundy dies. Where is Burgundy? Burgundy's up here, isn't it? Fighting the um, the good fight against France. Looks like Cornwall's taken over England. Well, one section of it anyway. How are we doing on the economy? Not too bad. There are many in our realm who are ex exempt from paying taxes, and the clergy in particular stand out in this category. If they shared some of their riches with the state, the government could do a better job of safeguarding them and defending Islam from all those who would seek to harm it. Right, so no, I'm not prepared to cross that line. We gain piety and prestige. Although if we do it, then we lose piety, lose prestige, and gain money. We don't really need money, though. We're getting a good amount of money. It's already built up quite a lot, so we'll just say we're not prepared to cross that line. In fact, based on the amount of money that we're getting, we probably should start thinking about trying to get as many points in as we can on here. So I'll tell you what, let's do trade efficiency with this guy. And stability cost or production, production efficiency. What are we actually producing in this country? Right, so copper, we produce 7% of the market share of copper. Copper cloth, it's mainly copper isn't it? Copper cloth, wool, wine and grain. We don't really produce much of anything though to be honest, based on that. Which is a bit of a shame really. Right, what is this new one that we've got here? Plus five percent national tax modifier, lose piety. Don't mind losing a little bit of piety. So even though we've bought in people, we're still getting almost the same amount of money. So we we made a, done done a couple of good things there. All right, so Serbia's opinion can go down on us by minus thirty, which isn't really going to affect us too much anyway. Or we can lose stability, or rather have them hate us to be honest and lose stability. I mean they're at war with Bosnia and Wallachia. Can we go to war against these guys yet or are we still fabricating that claim? Oh yeah these because these were allies with um Oh it was the truce wasn't it was holding that up. They're not at war anymore. That's actually quite useful. What is this here? He's improving relations. Stop improving relations. Ah, oh, new technology. Ah, oh, yes, fantastic. Right, so we can do... We'll do that. So we can sort of start buying some marketplace buildings and stuff. And then soon we're going to be doing this as well. And upgrading our military tech a little bit more. Right, these guys... We need to improve our relations here so we get to 190 and then once we're at 190 we'll offer vassalization before they go to war hopefully right your heir Mehmed breathes heavily he has been lying in bed for three days now and reflected in the beads of sweat on his forehead is the fear in your eyes for his life he might not make it through the night unless you do something so we can send for a trained medicus lose 50 money 50% chance he will die, or the 50% chance will gain 5 legitimacy. Or we can pray for his life, so 75% chance he will die, or 25% chance gain. We'll just... We'll pray for his life. We don't lose any money. We, we can have some more heirs. 
he's tragically died. He wasn't very good anyway, if I remember rightly. Alright, that's gone up as well. So what have we got now? Military tech advanced. Military tactics increased. Land morale increased. And we can now build the armory. Okay, so that's a bit more manpower of capabilities. Alright, that's going up. Slowly but surely. Cla claim is fabricated. Right, we'll keep him... Oh, yes, right. I'm sure we have enough men anyway, okay. Right, so now they're a vassal with us, so now they're, they're like an ally no matter what. Any wars that we get pulled into, they're coming. Any wars that they get pulled into, unfortunately we get pulled into, but that's something that can't really be helped. Hopefully the Mamelukes don't try and do anything funny with them guys. Right, so I want to try and take Serbia, not Serbia, sorry, um, does Bosnia like us? No, but not, they don't hate us, that's okay. I want to try and take these Constantinople people now, um, Byzantium, sorry. Um, so let's wait until these guys come back, we'll give one of them to him there, improve relations, so we can vassalize him, and then we will declare war. And we'll take that. No one's going to go to war with us. I don't really know why. But we'll declare war. Revolt risk has automatically gone wrong. I can't believe what I've just done. I didn't check to see if we was out of truce. I just assumed that because it was 1453 that we're good. Oh man, we're going to have to just buy stability to get that back up. That was a That was such a stupid mistake. Oh, it's not not to worry though. We'll um, we'll take this and all will be forgotten. No one else should be joining. I don't think. No, they're they're going. They're going to fall now. That's going to be the end of the Byzantium Empire. I can't believe that. Really cannot believe I did that. I don't even have any sort of military power that I can do harsh treatment with either. Really. Where are they going to go? God knows. Yeah, man, I can't make a mistake like that again. I was so eager to go to war that I just completely forgot that we had a truce of them. And that put it down by five stability, but I mean, you can only go down by three maximum. I love the way that our um, these guys have marched all the way over all the way over from here to give us a hand I'm gonna offer vassalization to them as well so, right that's probably too many things isn't it nope right so what what will it take here then yeah so it'll be 10 years in 10 years time both of these will be able to um, become part of our empire. We can become defender of the faith. It's not really worth it. I'd rather sort of use the money to start getting some buildings down. Actually, what do we do? Got here? It'd be nice to be able to do the temples. Actually, A bit of manpower. I wouldn't go and miss. The marketplace is quite nice for a bit of extra trade power. Do we need extra trade power though? We've we're already got pretty much the maximum share of it that we can probably get within this region. I mean, we collect the majority of it. I mean, you can collect more than what is in the trade node. I'm not sure how that works now. I can't remember the actual formulas for it, but um, we could be doing that. This isn't a bad location actually, it's got mainly flow into it, there's only one bit where it flows out and that's quite a, um, I mean tons and tons flows out of that anyway doesn't it? Venice is probably the best one because nothing goes out of that. That's even worse than the guy we just killed off. That's a shame. Oh well, you take a gamble with a life and sometimes you lose. Okay. So we've won that siege. 
we'll leave them in there. Make sure that there's no crazy revolts and stuff going on. What are these decisions about? Ah, we're going to complete this mission actually. If we take over Byzantium completely, we're going to complete the mission, get a little bit of prestige. Which will be nice. Okay, so the nobility during this period still recalled the days when the king was just the first among many nobles. The, the nobility wanted to return to these days and would frequently pressure the king to regain certain lost rights or privileges. So we can accept the right, the demands, which reduces our revolt risk, which would be nice, but tax goes down by 10%. Or stability loss. Can't really afford to do that. We'll, we'll do that for now because that should hopefully put this down. Yeah, that helped quite a lot actually. We don't want to become defender of the faith. No, it doesn't. It's not going to be right for us, that actually. Actually, this would be quite interesting. We can. Um, we should probably do this, actually, though. It's going to cost us a little bit more money each month, but changing the religion would be very, very useful. This has got to be done very, very shortly. Yeah, probably. Not this role, but the next role coming will hopefully take that. Right, we should be able to. Oh, we already we already are vassalized with them. What's this one? So that's minus. They're still plus. We could try and vassalize these guys. Let's improve relations with them. We'll have to try and we'll have to make sure we keep improving relations with um, these Timurids and Crimea because we don't want to... Crimea is not too much of a huge issue for us I don't think um, but these guys I do want to be allies with because if we get into a situation with these because they're not allies with them yeah if we get into a situation with these people we're gonna need to have as many allies as we can get right so we've taken that 100% done we should be able to full annexation Let's give it a go. Done. Right, is there any new missions available? Create a proper fleet. So total navy size is at least 75% of the force limit. We can incorporate Dolkadir into our country, which we will do, but we can't do that for another nine years yet, so let's forget about that for now. And safeguard Eastern Antolio. Mission succeeds when the following criteria are met. We own Erzrum, Kurdistan and Armenia. Where are these? What was that one? How do we find these ones then? Uh, right, Kurdistan. Ah, oh, I see. It wants us to take these Armenia, Kurdistan, and Erzium. Right, I get it. So what is this country? So there's only three there, so we could we could do that actually. We could try and who are they allied with though? Crimea, Golden Horde, and the Mamluks. See, we don't want to get into war with these guys. Are we able to pick a rival? Do we are we fully rivaled up? I can't change that until 1471. Alright, not to worry, maybe we won't go to war with these guys until they're not allies with the Mamluks. Crimea, I don't know if Crimea would pick them, it probably would pick them actually because we haven't really done much to establish our allyship with Crimea. We'll leave that up there for now, we won't pick any ideas. Um, that's nothing. What's this looking like here? Let's do a bit of harsh treatment. Spending all of the military power on harsh treatment is not a good idea. We need to need to build up a little bit more a little bit more of this military power, I think, because we wanna 
make sure we get ahead. I mean, we are four. And most of them are on three by the looks of it. With the occasional one on four. So we want to make sure that we we get a sort of better military than everyone else around us for, for now. Okay. So our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about an old ruler. The legend says that in Ottoman's darkest hour he will return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of the truth in that statement, we could use this in our propaganda. So yes, I love a good story. So we get a yearly prestige of plus one, lose ten administrative power and a few bits of money, or we lose five prestige. We might as well just go for it, might we? Get a bit of prestige per year, which we're still a minus per year, but that doesn't matter as long as we're not going down too quick overextension, right? Let's make both of them into a core province of ours. How long is that going to take, actually? Not too long. 1456 is like two years, isn't it? Less than like one year and three months or something like that. So Bosnia has announced the Ottomans as their new rival. Well, that's that's great. Thanks for that. Ah, oh, they're pushing up against our borders now, actually. They're the coalition of Serbia. That's giving me an idea. Actually, that's a good idea. Um, if I join the coalition... Someone's joined the coalition against us. We are the target of the coalition of Venice. We haven't actually attacked you, Venice, at all. Is it just because we went into a coalition against them and are they your allies? No. It's going to be difficult to take Bosnia because they're allies with these guys here. Serbia doesn't like them. It's going to be tricky. We should probably fabricate a claim though. Because if we can actually take them... So what do we want? Raska, Zeta or Ragusa. Where is Ragusa? That's the one that's under attack by nationalists at the moment. Might as well go for Raska. Fabricate a claim on that so that when we when we get a sort of moment where we can when we can afford to attack it we will. We could get a free military leader. Oh look at that guy. That is that is beautiful. Right, that's safe down there now, so let's move these people over to here. He can have a leader, him. I'd be a bit nervous if I was this, these guys over here, just standing there on the borders all by themselves. It can take months for the these guys to get over to them, so... Let's keep the clock ticking. We have 41 imperial authority over the Roman Empire, which isn't going to be doing much, really. I'd uh, rather just lose the piety. Looks like old Bosnia has got a bit of a trouble over there. We should probably strike while we can. Although they are allied with them guys. Crete. That's probably why Venice doesn't like us. They probably feel threatened that we're just around right where they are. Because they own this as well, don't they, actually? Naxos. And we can just walk straight onto that now, actually. That's quite interesting, actually. Plus you've got the knights here who are allies with Venice. All these little islands. It'd be nice to be able to own all of these, actually at some point. And I'm sure at some point we will own them. Right, so we can get two more troops if we want, so I think I'll put these over here. Help boost those guys a little bit. I tell you what actually, because we're doing alright with our um, economy, aren't we? Might be worth getting a few more ships going actually. If I do some galleys, 
They don't cost too much. Plus, they're quite powerful. And then the light ships, which cost a little bit more, I think. But they will really improve our trade capabilities. We'll probably try and do a bit more trading down here. Trying to push as much of this, because there's six gold there. So we'll try and push as much of that up through into here, and then we can claim the majority of this ourselves. I've got 60% and the next is 9%. Poland's actually doing quite well there. But when we get these two on our side, and then this, this one up here as well. We should do alright. Based upon doing that, I think I'm going to do create a proper fleet. Because that will give us a bit of navy tradition. Okay, so them cores are nearly finished. How's the revolt risk going? That should drop. I'll right, we'll spend 30 to get that down, but that will probably drop off completely when we've actually turned these into cores. Right, forget about that, we don't want to do that. Okay, so the missionary guy actually did something. We might as well send him... We'll send him to do another one. Yeah, let's get a bit of inflation, but get a bit more diplomatic power going through. That's what I like to see. So, wait, this, how are these cores doing? Right, pretty much finished. That'll be the 22nd of March. It's very, very soon, and that'll be in May. Very nice. That one's finished. Right, let's... Where are these ships? Oh, God. Let's put them all in the the sea there. Try and select that without. Jesus, a nightmare, isn't it? That one there it gets a bit awkward in this area here. So many boats. I bet that's dropped our money down a little bit, though, hasn't it? The income will probably drop from all them boats because they're quite quite a lot of maintenance. I think that's just the galleys, isn't it, for now? Yeah, just, just the galleys, that one. Nice bit of defence, though. The old galleys in the inland sea, they do really, really well. Right, have we turned that into a core yet? Yep, it is. Okay, so now we turn that into a core, and we're waiting on our light ships to be done. I think I'm going to call it the end of part three. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.